Hello everyone. So it's been a little while since I've done some blog posts and videos to go along with them. I am starting that back up again and I wanted to give you some information about pelvic organ prolapse, otherwise known as POP. Um, so today I just want to talk to you guys about what it is and the types and then in the coming weeks we'll delve into prevention and um, treatment options um, and causes things like that so i had no idea what prolapse was even after having three babies um, my doctor no one had ever even told me that it was a possibility that it was a thing um, and i didn't learn about it until um, beginning to specialize in this area several years ago. Um, so what is pelvic organ prolapse? Essentially, it's when any of the organs um, held up by your pelvic floor um, begin to drop down through the vaginal cavity or canal, um, which sounds just terrifying um, in general. So imagine, you know, um, these ladies who are experiencing severe prolapse, um, how um, inhibiting that could be um, and unpleasant, very unpleasant. And it's unfortunate because, like I said, we aren't told this um, through our, our lives at all. Um, you know, from when you first start going to a specialist, um, you know, like an OBGYN or something like that, for checkups and prevention um, through having babies and everything. And there's all these opportunities for healthcare providers to have these conversations with us as women, but it doesn't happen. Um, or at least it happens rarely, not very often. Um, so, okay, depending on who you ask, there are five um, different types of prolapse. Um, the first, one that I'm going to tell you about is um, uterine prolapse. And that's exactly what it sounds like. Um, it's when um, the uterus starts to drop down. Um, and it can actually come down through the canal. Um, and those lig the supporting ligaments and muscles, just like with all of these organs that I'm gonna talk about or these types of prolapse, um, just start to, to um, weaken and give way um, and they're not doing the job as well as they should be uh, to hold those organs up. The next type of prolapse, so that was uterine prolapse, um, cystocil is when the bladder does that. Um, so that, it, you know, obviously the bladder is in the front of the body and um, so it starts to um, fall back and encroach on the vaginal wall. Um, the third type is rectocele, and rectocele is the kind of the opposite of um, uh, cystocele, where the rectum is doing that now. That wall is weakening, and it is um, encroaching and coming down uh, through the vaginal uh, canal. Um, next would be the vaginal vault, so that is the actual. Um, uh, walls of the uterus that are just uh, kind of caving in on on itself. Um, that soft tissue, those muscles have become weakened, um, whether it be through trauma like childbirth um, or for other reasons that we can that we'll be talking about. Um, that wall is just kind of collapsing in on itself. So uterine, vaginal vault, cystocil, rectocil. Last one is um, enterocil. So that's actually when the intestines, um, st uh, the small intestines start to droop down into that space between um, the colon and the vaginal wall, which um, typically isn't very, very big. Those two touch and are, are close together, but then you start getting that small intestine down through there. Um, so we'll talk about complications of this. What is it? What does it mean um, to have pelvic organ prolapse? What are the different grades of severity? We'll be discussing all of that. But today I just wanted to um, introduce you guys to the topic, make you aware of it, um, and let you know the different types out there. So I will talk to you all soon. I hope you are having a fantastic day and um, I'll see you.